So this one stung a little bit. I had a signed agreement for $65,000. Seven days after the agreement was signed, I was told that they didn't want to proceed. I was irritated, upset. Here's what I was thinking. What did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? I felt a loss of something I thought I had gained. I was attached to the sale. It was my sale. The problem is the word my. It's not my sale. It doesn't belong to me. It's not owed to me. Gains and losses in sales and in life are inevitable. In Buddhism, it's one of the eight worldly concerns. Gain, got a sale, I'm happy. Loss, lost the sale, I'm upset. Gain, I booked five meetings in a week, so I'm happy. Loss, I booked zero meetings the following week, so I'm anxious. Gain, I got a promotion, I'm happy. Loss, I got fired, I'm depressed. Gain, I got a bonus, I'm happy. Loss, I lost money doing a home renovation project, so I'm sad. Here's the reality of sales. Gain and loss are part of the same experience. You can do everything right and still lose a sale. You didn't do anything wrong when you lose a sale because you can't lose a sale you never had. Remember, in sales and in life, anything can change at any time. There's power in accepting that. Training your mind to move in harmony with the nature of sales and life is the path to peace and tranquility. With practice, you pay less attention to the content of the gain or the loss, the one sale or the loss sale, and accept the ebb and flow of reality. It's simple, but not easy. How are you with gain and loss? I am definitely under construction in this area.